ready. We're going viral. Get ready. We're going viral. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another installment of the Viral Podcast. I am your host, Paige Jen. And I'm your host, Chelsea Lynn. How's everybody doing out there? Everybody have a good weekend? Yes. Yeah? I did. Good. How was your weekend? It was great. What did you do? <laughs> um, <laughs> gosh, what did? What? What's today? I'm trying to think of. Dude, I've just had, I've had a lot going on, first off. I haven't had, there's so much going on that if you ask me what I've been doing, my brain just goes, <laughs> trying to think of everything I've been doing. Yeah, I read the last YouTube comments like, Paige, what's wrong with your hair? <laughs> I didn't even brush it, dude. That's what's that, wrong. You don't need to. Because we've been so fucking busy. Yeah, we don't have time to brush our hair. My brain's rattled, dude. And I'm glad you brought that up. I saw a comment uh, a couple podcasts ago, and I saw a couple comments. One comment was like, Chelsea seems off today. And someone's like, yeah, I noticed that too. And someone else goes, who was being very nice, so I'm not, you know. But she was like, Chelsea, you seem off on this podcast. Your energy seems low. Like, don't feel like you have to film for us. Like, you know, take a, take a day off, whatever. And it's like, listen, you guys, first off, I just want to let you know, I will not come down here and film a pod if we're both not feeling it. Mm -hmm. First off, we have been in here before and I said, I'm not feeling it today. And we, we walked out and we didn't film it. Yep. And that doesn't happen often, but sometimes it's like, Hey, do you want to film a pod tomorrow? And the day comes and I'm just like, dude, I've got, I'm not feeling it. And we're like, okay, well let's do it next day. Whatever. Um, I, we will not be sitting here filming this. Unless we are feeling it and we want to, just know that. Also, my energy is not going to be the same at all times. That doesn't mean I don't want to be here. That doesn't mean I don't love... Dude, we're... Me and we Paige, just have feelings, too. We, and me and Paige are obsessed with this podcast. This is probably... It's my probably favorite thing that I do. So, I don't ever not want to be here. Just because my energy may seem off. You know, sh- my energy's off just day to day. So yeah. is y'all's listening. It doesn't, I'm not going to be the same every time. So it's, it's fine. Hey, are so. you okay? With what? I'm just kidding. Hey, you, oh. you good? <laughs> you good? I'm good. Yeah, I get that. And then when people start telling you that, you're like, fuck, how was <laughs> I the other day? I know. And then you're like, okay. And then you're just, that's how you get your head fucked with. Yeah. 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 You read the comments. Yeah. <laughs> we got great comments. No. No, like 99.9% are just fucking amazing. My... Even the, the ones, they're just checking in on I know, I know. too, you know. And one of the highlights of my life, honestly, is reading comments. The mm-hmm. comments are better than the content. They the con- catch the, shit. Oh, they... Yes! <laughs> the comments, dude. That's the... When a YouTube comes out, whether it's the pod, whether it's a mukbang, whether, whatever, I can't wait for the comments. Because the comments have me rolling. Yeah, and I've noticed... People had an eye on your last candle. <laughs> That's how much they pay attention and like. So I've got a new candle. I uh, got a new candle up, and I had it lit. And everybody, everybody in the room was like, "Oh, you gonna light the candle?" And I'm like, "Calm down, first off, it's not gonna happen again." It wasn't because of the fire; it's the formaldehyde. And then they were like, oh, "We can't breathe in here with the candle." I'm like, "I've been lighting a candle this whole fucking time. Nobody said a damn word." I I've We've said something. We've been choking though. We've been trying to yeah. I've gave little hints, like, yeah. dude, the formaldehyde. <laughs> For mm-hmm. So I so I blew it out. So the candle's going to be sitting there, and it's not going to be lit. So just letting y'all know just that. Just decoration. Yeah. Hey, a couple things. Um, somebody, I had a couple people message me. They want Maggie and Brett to get in on the Todd and Demon thing. Maggie. <laughs> <laughs> so let's do it. Okay, so wait. A what four are we way do? or just or me and just let, me and Brett? No, let's me and <laughs> me and you, Maggie. Let's do it. I think he wants all four at once. So like me, yeah. and, huh? I don't all, know. All four. I, I, I got messages too. Oh yeah, so. let's try it though. Let's Who's try who. I know all four at once seems like a lot. An orgy. That's a lot. That <laughs> Should we lot. try a demon orgy right now? <laughs> yeah, and the demon orgy, like, God, dude, are people gonna classify me as this fucking like satanic? I mean, human unit. The bigger we get in Hollywood, that's bound to happen. I know, and I'm like, dude, I started doing that because of like, I think it's like house funny, like, yeah, you know, like no, no, nobody takes that serious. The demon sex, no, no, no. Our listeners know, just you know, yeah. 
Okay, mm-hmm. so y'all want to do it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to moan, basically. No, I'm gonna, you're oh. going to be the demon. <laughs> oh, wait, I thought we oh. were moaning. Yeah, you guys are doing your thing. Are we all four doing it? I <laughs> think they're the Mona Lisa's, yeah. and we're the the. Yeah. You're Todd, and I'm uh, yeah. Demon. You're still gonna be Todd. Okay, let's okay, let's do this. Let's <laughs> let's calm it down. Everybody, chill. Oh, okay. okay. Can we call let's the regroup. Demon Damien? What are we doing? <laughs> yeah, Damien yeah. and Todd. But it's funny calling <laughs> it the Demon. Damien and Todd though. Uh, Damien the we Demon. We need Damien and Todd shirts. Oh my God, Damien and Todd. <laughs> 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 okay, let's do it. Two at a time at first, and then we'll go into an orgy. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay? So me and Mag, you're going to go first. Oh, wow. Mag, you be the moaner. I'll I've, be Todd. I've never had such a planned sex. Oh. And then you oh. guys go. Brett, you be the moaner. You be Damien. And then we're going to switch and have an orgy. We're going to be moaning, and y'all are going to be Damien and Todd. Wait, I'm uh-huh. getting done by who? Okay, Brett, you just <laughs> stay stand still for a minute. Okay. We'll get to you in a minute. Maggie, ready? Okay. Yeah. You do the moaning. I'll be Todd. Here we go. Can you point at us to cue us? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Oh. Uh huh. <laughs> Who's fucking me? Me. me. I'm fucking you. Who's me? Me, Todd. Oh. I'm back, bitch, and I'm fucking you. Oh. Bend harder. over, bitch. I am. It's the hardest I can go, oh, bitch. Oh, Todd. Uh huh. Say my name again, bitch. You're so thick, Todd. Yep. 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 Oh. Uh huh. Brett, moan. Um. Open your fucking legs. Oh. Yeah, open your oh. fucking legs. Let me get in there. Oh, 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 yeah. that, oh that feels so good. You oh. are a great oh. guy. <laughs> oh. Okay, okay, cut. I look back at it. Can I look? Oh, cut. We moan and y'all. Ready? Orgy. Mm. Here we go. Maggie, you're not moaning. Oh, you're Todd. I'm Todd. Yes, oh, bitch. God, I don't know if I can do Todd. Okay, let's Ready? try to do it. Uh. uh. Yeah, bitch. (laughs) (laughs) That was great. That was great, Maggie. Good job. Yeah, bitch. Maybe we should try the orgy next next episode. And then y'all can decide on who's who. Let's just do the orgy right now. Yeah, all of us just are character. Me and you're Todd. I'm Damien, and they're and they're moaning. Maggie moans normal how she does, and then Brett can moan how he does in the bedroom. Okay, Okay. go. Ready, set, go. Oh, oh, fuck yeah. yeah. Yep. Oh, you like yeah. that bitch? Yeah. Get over here. Oh, fuck Suck yeah. Who's big fucking cockhead. me? Me. <laughs> fucking Ooh. prostate I'm right fucking now, man. You're in my prostate. Okay, oh, that's my enough. God. Let's move on. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was a lot. We're, we're, uh, wow. We're ridiculous. I can't believe people listen in their cars. I was listening <clears throat> to the podcast, well, I always do in the car, and I'm just, like, turning it down and shit. We re- pull up to the window, and Brett's, like, yanking it down, dude. He doesn't want people to hear us. <gasps> Why not, Brett? Shit. I think he, we embarrass him. You embarrassed? No, I'm not embarrassed. I just, you know. He doesn't words, want maybe. the people yeah. at Chick-fil-A to hear us going, <laughs> fuck me. <laughs> oh, fuck me. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, hey, you guys. My tour is on sale now. Go to eatmytrash.com. Or ChelseaLynn.com. And uh, I will be at a city near you. How about that? And get you some tickets. And uh, Swipe up. Swipe up. Um, tickets are going fast. I'm not going to lie. So hop on that shit. Flying off the shelves. Hi, f- my shit's flying off the shelves. So get your tickets here. Get your tickets, guys. Come EatMyTrash.com, okay? All righty. Come Dude. on out if you want to hear some. <laughs> 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 amazing Holy amazing shit. god do you have a dm you know i do what's the dm for the day honey okay not gonna play it again what's the dm for the day honey? <laughs> why do i gotta ask <laughs> okay i've got a really good dm you guys um you ready for it this is actually a good one here we go hey my name is eric My phone call was on episode 17 of the viral podcast. I am the 41-year-old pansexual who lost the desire to be with anyone sexually. Well, one of the things you suggested was that it could be a hormone problem. Well, you were totally spot on. My testosterone level was super low. I went to the doctor. I'm now on testosterone therapy and my my desire is actually returning. Thank you so much for the suggestion. Love the podcast. Dude, we're out here saving dicks. Dude. 
daily. We're yeah. saving people's nuts is what we're doing. <gasps> wow. We got, whoa. That, yeah. That T, that big T, testosterone. Mm-hmm. Big T. Testosterone. Big, t- big yeah. T. Yeah. So that's awesome. That's sweet. And yeah. that he reached back out. Yeah. Dude. Exactly. Good we're to hear. Glad. Yeah. That's glad amazing. To hear. Mm-hmm. You got a DM, honey? That's fucking cool. I know. I was, <sighs> crazy. Couldn't believe it. Glad he reached back out. Yes. Love you, honeys. Oh, frick. Okay. So mine is from this guy, Jim. Okay. <laughs> and you got to see the pic. We got to oh, post him yeah. on the story <laughs> again. Okay. He says, can you and Chelsea scissor each other, please, baby? And look at him. Let me see him. Holy oh, shit. God. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, God. Here we go. Oh! <laughs> Somebody's grandpa. He's a gramp daddy. Can you and Chelsea scissor each other, please, baby? With the hard eye emoji. Dude, he's horny for us. Scissor. Could you imagine anybody in your family, like, older than you, DMing somebody? Like, oh. can you imagine being like, I'm going to go visit my grandpa. I haven't seen him in a couple months. I miss him. I'm Check gonna go, in on him. I, I'm going to go take him to Applebee's. Mm-hmm. And you go. You have a great time. You love your grandpa. Cool dude. Then You're you like, walk man, behind the booth. My grandpa's a stand-up guy. Mm-hmm. And then he leaves his phone there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> when he goes to the bathroom, you're like, let me just take a, a gander at huh. Grandpa Jim's phone just to see what's going on, you know, see how many, you know, prayer groups he's leading and whatnot. You turn it over, you open it up, and you fucking see that. He sli- you see that your grandpa slid into Paige Jen's DMs and said, can you and Chelsea scissor each other, please, baby? What do you do? Your grandpa becomes cooler than you thought he was, <laughs> is what happens. Yeah, yeah, but dude, when it's close to you, you know, like my dad or something, yeah. you know, it's like, fuck, dude, don't yeah. get me canceled. Your dad is so, your dad uh, texted me on Valentine's Day and said, happy Valentine's Day, Chelsea. Get trimmy, get trimmy, y'all. Get trimmy. Get trivial, oh, fuck me. Get trivy, get trivial. Uh. <laughs> You're throwing in that Brittany twain. I love your dad. Bless your dad's heart. Um, we've added some new topics to the trivial wheel. We've got no fucking clue. We've got uh, wait, what the fuck? We've got sprouts, and then we've added shit. I know this one. I love okay. that you can't read it <laughs> unless it's flick, flicked in it. All right, are we ready? Hey, did you say sprouts? Oh, sprouts. I think I, you might mean sports. 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 I was thinking, damn, dude, sprouts. Like, what are we going to be talking gross, about? The grocery. <laughs> was, they got great water there. To the fact Valley. that I didn't even question that, I'm like, sprouts. No, I got this. I saw sprouts on a veggie sandwich pop up in my head. Yeah, like, when I was like, oh, this that. is right down her aisle. Yeah. It's all funny right. that Brett of all people caught that. <laughs> I know. Oh, no. Y'all do better. No. Yeah. My God. Stay in line, everybody. Okay. Are we ready? Here we go. I hope I get sprouts. And. Uh, <laughs> sprout. Gone viral. Purple. 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 Here we go. <clears throat> okay. Well, this is the part viral. where I got to look for the uh, purple part. Okay. Gone viral. Okay. What was the shoes worn by Daniel in the viral dance? Vans. I didn't even get yeah. to hear the question. <laughs> nice. Oh. But what color? White Vans. Nice. Hold on. What was the question? Remember Damn Daniel? Oh. Damn Daniel. Wow. <laughs> Honey's got one. Hell yeah, dude. That millennial question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 All right. Your turn, honeys. You get to spin the wheel here. Here we oh. go. Shit. I know this one. Purple. Purple. That looks like it's on Bieber Fever to me. Oh, okay. Sorry. Brett, please do not question me. Thank you. What was it on again? Purple. <laughs> Shit. I know this one. Oh, okay. Where in the human body would you find the medulla oblongata? Ooh. In the brain? The med... Okay. Hey. Thank Good you. Good job. We only know that from Waterboy. What, what, Waterboy. Waterboy. Can I just say my chair... I, is lean with it like the lean arms. with it <laughs> rock with it i know honey so we we need to get you a new chair well i just swapped chairs but this one has a, a arm problem 
We'll order you a new chair. We want you. Your comfort is our main priority. Mm-hmm, I'm looking a little stiff <laughs> over here. <laughs> I like have this hunchback and. Aww. Do I get to spin now? Yeah, I think here, so. Here we go. Ready? Question number three, I think. Adam Sandler movies, green. Ooh. Lean with it. Rock with it. All right. What position in football did Bobby Boucher play? <sighs> Running back. Fuck. Quarterback. Quarterback. Linebacker. Oh, well, well come on. We could have kept guessing. I thought those were your guesses. We would have yeah. got it eventually. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, your turn, honeys. Give it a spin. Honeys, give it a better spin than that. Sports! Whoa. Y'all like sports? If I get this over you, you, you got to leak my pussy. Deal. <laughs> Wait. You ready? Hold on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. But not like... In it, but maybe the lips or something? Or the clit? Maybe the lips or something? <laughs> you got to lick the pearl. Don't ever say <laughs> pearl again. I don't know if I can dive in with the, the pearl. Okay, what about the lips? The outer crust, yeah. Cat pissy. Okay. If you get this one... <laughs> I hope I get it. Okay, go. But, like, I'm going to lick it like this. Yes. No, you don't have to munch on it. But give it a lick. Okay, Okay, ready? Let's look. Okay, go. A sporting event is held every year on Memorial Day. What is it? Rose Bowl? Oh, God, I was wrong. Uh, uh, Dude, I don't know. Memorial Day just happened. I don't fucking know when Memorial Day is. Is it the Super Bowl? Dude, what the fuck? Oh, God, I'm so nervous right now because this depends on if my pussy gets licked or not. Um, And you really want it licked, so maybe I should just have you guess a lot. um, Okay, Memorial Day just happened, no? No? Dude, I think that was... May 30th was uh, Memorial Day. Oh, that May hasn't happened. Okay. I think you're thinking President's Day, and so was I. May. May. What happened in May? May 30th. It's not March Madness. Okay, not college. Damn it, I don't know. There's got to be some soccer, dude. Is it like soccer? The World Cup? Yeah, the World Cup or FIFA, FIFA something. What? No, what it's is? not soccer. Do you want me to Hockey. like help you it out at all? Or damn it, uh, uh, tell us racket what sport. or freaking where? What's the ball you throw the thing in the net? The fucking volleyball. What's, no, not volleyball. It's the Indianapolis five hundred. <sighs> what? You so, so you're not gonna link my pussy? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Right, you should have just said, like, gave a hint, like, I, I love turning left or something. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah, yeah, You could have just said, I love turning For left. Real. We would have got that, Brett. Yeah, sorry about that. All right, is it your turn, honeys? Let's do two more. Yeah, this is fun. Here we go. I don't even know if it's my turn. Nope, it Rap wasn't. gods, blue, rap gods. Here we go. You can find me in St. Mm-hmm. Louis. Cream was an acronym for what in the 1994 Wu-Tang Clan hit? <sighs> Corn. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know, but I know I know that you know this, Brett. But you're looking at the you're looking at the answer. Well, did you know it before? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, what is it? Cash rules everything around me. Cream. <laughs> okay, <laughs> money. That is your bill. song. Yeah, it is. That's and my then song. we'll be like cream corn, cream corn at the end. Cash All right, let's do everything. one more, guys. Ready? And if it's not on, if it's not a good um, subject, I'm gonna re re uh, re spin. Okay, here we go. Perfect. Red. Wait. What the fuck? Here we go. The fuck? In Texas, it is illegal to swear in front of what? Uh, Your mom. The... uh, What's big in Texas? Longhorns. The bulls. Okay. In front of the longhorn bull. A corpse. I'm really trusting uh, Beth on these. Um, oh, so I trust Beth okay. with my whole yeah. heart. She's got every. Those are all correct. Trust me on that. Don't ever question Beth. Yes, Beth. But somebody out there will steal uh-huh. something. They'll uh-huh. be like, nope. Exactly. But sometimes, dude, you Google one fucking thing and 17 different answers yeah, come up. Very true. So then you kind of just go with how you're feeling and whatever. And you know those, you know those crazy you know, laws that are in like the different states, like, oh, you can't eat ass in Tennessee. Yeah, you can't, you know, whatever. <laughs> like, are those real? I was, yeah, well, yeah, because they're like, 
you can have sex with somebody. I mean, those, they go by that law. But who's going to go? Who's going to go turn themselves in? Like, listen, I ate ass on a Sunday. I know I'm not supposed to. Turn around. But I did. Let me cuff you. You know? Like, I would want to be arrested for something like that. Yeah, that would. I think somebody was in Florida. For what? For, like, was it? I don't know. Something crazy Some, like that? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Something where it's like, come on, let it slide. Oh, I love that shit. It's I like, love that shit. It's like going to jail for weed. Yeah. Same, same thing. Yeah. Hey, honey, you want to go ahead and hand me that book behind you? <clears throat> the Letters mm-hmm. to Penthouse one. Mm-hmm. Letters to Penthouse by Chelsea. Here we go. All right, letters to Penthouse. Where were we last time? What had happened? Um, well, you basically, see, his wife's a whore. <clears throat> yeah, he did say that. She was fucking like, wasn't she fucking like twenty five dudes in yeah. two days? Mm-hmm. And someone sent him a VHS tape, and of, he enjoyed it of what she was doing. So that's where we left off. I'm going to read. Um, here we go. <clears throat> letters to Penthouse by Chelsea. Here we go. The next shot was of Allison sitting at an outdoor cafe table, talking with some guy. She was talking about how she had enjoyed the sex they'd had and how she was looking forward to the next several hours when they would be joined by some other guys. She explained that she loved taking business trips because she could be completely inhabited with and sexual and satisfy her sexual needs with whomever she wanted. She said that at home she was much more calculating about her adventures. Her husband, she said, was a good lover, And a good man. But he didn't realize that over the last few years, her need for sexual variety had had became uncontrollable. Her companion asked her how she got it at home without her husband knowing. And she replied that she had a small studio apartment that he didn't know about. She then laughed and said that she paid rent by doing some secret hooking during her lunchtime. But that other times, on business trips, she gave it away. Being a prostitute was just a way to get the money she needed. Her real interest was the sex. Actually, she went on. She had always been sex crazy. Though only in the last four years had it really gotten out of control. She really loved her husband. But the fact was, she had been cheating on him since the day they met. During the week before they got married, she had arranged to fuck all her previous boyfriends, thinking that marriage would end her ways. But it hadn't worked out that way. The next scene was in a large hotel room. It was very noisy, and the camera moved around a lot. There must have been 15 men at all states of undress. And they were yelling. They were yelling things like, Give it to her hard! And... Fuck her in the ass. <laughs> and shit, she's like a bitch in heat. Dude, this goes in with the last. <sighs> Finally, the camera horned in on the bed. Allison was spread with one guy jumping, with one guy jumping hard into her cunt while she gave the other a blowjob. And two more guys on the other side of her getting hand jobs. Damn. This bitch was busy. This bitch didn't get to relax at all, okay? (laughs) For about an hour, I watched Allison in all sorts of positions with all sorts of guys, including my old friend Gil. As one guy would finish and get off, another would mount her. She had come all over her body. That body would frequently go into spasms as she had orgasm after orgasm. After a while, the scene, ju- the scene just came to an end, and the tape ran out. But the action showed no sign of stopping. I admit, I was surprised by some of the things Allison said on the tape. Although, as I said, I had suspected that she was fucking other men. I just hadn't realized the extent of her promiscuity, or her wildness. But still, I was more excited than upset. I decided not to say anything to Allison about it, and I haven't. She acts in the same loving way she always has when we're together. I now realize that the late hours she keeps when not traveling are probably spent fucking other guys, either for money or for free. But we still fuck nearly every night, and the only difference is that 
My desire for my wife is now even stronger. And I thank my lucky stars for the for the slut that I married. <laughs> That's romantic. When you said cunt, <laughs> why is it so funny when they say cunt? Because it's so nasty. Because it's so nasty. Anyway, that's one. That's that's a whole. That's his whole story right there. His yeah. wife's a hoe, and he loves it. Yeah. He loves her. Girl. He loves her. I don't know if I, you know, I could be him. Well, I mean, that's a lot of semen. I was about to say that's a lot of cum. <laughs> <laughs> if you think about it, that's a lot of cum. Way too much cum. Yeah, I mean, he thought she was getting maybe one load try, every now and then. Yeah, <clears throat> try twenty four other men. Psych. Oh, man. All right. Are we ready to get into these uh, <clears throat> questions? We got some good ones, Brett? Absolutely. Got right. some good okay. cues. Here we go. I'm ready, dude. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to the Moo Moo commercials. Do you like to rub your pussy? Do you like to jack off? Do you like to masturbate and fuck? We do, too. <laughs> you like that? There's nothing better than a tingly sensation. And you know who can bring you a tingly sensation? AdamandEve.com. AdamandEve.com knows that our listeners love to bust nuts, just like us. And they've got everything you're going to need to help you bust harder and longer nuts. Lingerie, cock rings, handcuffs and more and cock rings for big cock heads come on you know you want to try the code you've been listening all these weeks and you haven't given in yet today's the day go to adamandeve.com and use code viral for 50 percent off any one item some exclusions apply and free shipping that's a damn good deal, you guys. You've got nothing to lose. That's right. Go to adamandeve.com and use code VIRAL for 50% off and free shipping. Hello, rock fucker here. Hi, honey. Oh. So I have a question and a request. Okay. First of all, if you have children and you have a play date at somebody else's house, friends or family, and they accidentally break something and they're under six years old. Do you think that you should pay for it or pay half, leave it up to the parent? But if they ask you to pay for it, is that petty? I'm just looking for advice. Mm. Also, the request, we need viral podcast gifts. I need one of K because that's a whole vibe. And also, do better. I love her. Love you, honey. Bye. Love you, honey. Okay. (laughs) Okay. Viral podcast gifts would be hilarious. Yeah, where are they? How do you do that? Libby knows how to do that. I don't. I'm horrible at that stuff, but she knows how to make them. That'd be good. Mm -hmm. I like that idea. We'll ask Libby. Um, Man, she had a little bit of Todd demon come out at the very beginning. Yeah. Hey. Um, I like this question. Okay, here's my thoughts on this. Do I think it's petty? Okay, you have a kid. You go to to a friend's house, whoever. Your kid breaks something. Number one, is it petty that the homeowners ask that you pay to replace it? Me, personally, I think yes. I think, come on, accidents happen. It's a kid. If someone came to my house and broke anything, I would never ask them to pay for it. Yeah, like, what are you fucking breaking? Right, right. Is this like a porcelain uh, china doll? I don't know, dude. And here's the thing. It's a play date. They know kids under six are coming over. Shit's going to get broke. Even if it's not expensive, even if it's cheap, I, I would never do that. Now, if... I had a kid that broke something, and they asked me to replace, asked me to pay for it. I would, I, I, I wouldn't be mad or upset. I, I kind of would in the back of my head think, okay, it's a little ridiculous, but yes, I'll Venmo you thirty bucks. So, or if I broke something myself or my kid did, I would just probably pay for it just because you would my offer own, without the if they yeah, said I nothing either, to you. you I would. think I'd either well, depending on what it was, but like yeah. if it, how much it meant to them, you know. But yeah. I would, 
probably like yeah Venmo or go replace that object that they fucking lost. Yeah. I don't know. Just I, as myself for my own <clears throat> consciousness. Yeah. That's I don't know. I wouldn't say anything. I mean I would apologize and stuff, but I, I do think it's a little petty that they're asking if they asked to replace. And especially if they're being too serious about it. Like, mm-hmm. like dude, it's mm-hmm. a fucking kid who broke something. Accidents happen. Yeah. I think we're going to be 50-50 on this. I think we're going to get a lot of DMs about that saying, no, I think the people should offer to pay. I think we're going to get a lot of those people. I would never even <clears throat> ask any, anybody to pay for Mm-mm. something if they, like, hey, uh, <laughs> you know. No, I agree. I wouldn't either. Like, my brother broke my freaking 40-something dollar Chemex coffee pot the other day that I just bought. And what I'm do you, like, how'd he break it? I don't fucking know. Huh. Brett and him, I come home from our, well, from our Joshua trip. Yeah. And Joshua tree trip, and freaking my Chemex is just shattered. And they're still pouring coffee out of it <laughs> with, with like, uh, glass. What? Yeah, glass was still in what the happened, handle. Brett? Yeah, Jerry just kind of broke it, oh. you know? Yeah. And then she got home and asked about it, and he said, I did it. And we just kind of, I just kind of went with it just to see. Oh. No, Jerry take him broke to, it. And Brett yeah. said, I broke it. I put the, I wanted to light the bong on top of your coffee pot. So oh I tried to God. smoke well, weed. That was my excuse. Cause he said so, I did it. Yeah. I do feel like that's a little bit different. You're that like, he's not a kid. If, if I broke your coffee pot, whether you just bought it or have had it for five years, if I came over your house and broke your coffee pot, I would offer to buy, it. I would be like, Oh, I'm gonna get you another one. Yeah, that's yeah, hands that's down. Without I even oh, mm-hmm. I would I would not even. But I would never say Chelsea, you broke my car. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Like I even told Jerry, yeah, I'll fucking replace the accidents happen. Yeah. But fucking be aware. Yeah, and do better. And do better always. There's always room to do better. Mm-hmm. I finally had to tell on him because he just wouldn't tell her that he did it. So I was like, Wow, Jerry did it. You they paddled. are little kids. I'm like Brett. Since you lied, you <laughs> can you can pay for it. <laughs> that's fucking <laughs> funny. Right, goes, I finally had to tell the truth. Yeah. Like, <laughs> and then since day he later, lied. Yeah. And then Jerry goes, you're a tattletale. Yeah. Holy shit. They're 30 and 42 years old. Damn, dude. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Having wow. a great time. Yeah, just having fun, but do better. Everybody needs to do better. Yep. And, yeah, I mean, just depending on how much it was, either you, I wish she would tell us what it was that that kid broke. Maybe she just meant in general, too. I don't know. And maybe she's the person that had a kid come over and she's like, what should I do? I don't know. Plus it might've gone up in value, you know, when things break. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Accidents happen. I say that that is a little petty to request that you pay for something. What if they came over and ripped a Michael Jordan rookie card? Don't have your Michael Jordan rookie card laying out with kids. He's right. I mean, yeah. Dang. Yeah. Cause what do you expect? What do you expect? You know what I mean? Yeah, I wouldn't leave it there in the first place. No. Yeah. No. Yeah, right. You had your Michael Jordan rookie card oh, out yeah. left on the bed. Chelsea, yeah. you came over and you were like rubbing it all over your pussy. It, in my yeah. defense, it was in a plastic case. One of those big, hard plastic cases. I wasn't yeah. rubbing a raw. It was fine. I knew it was okay. But. I, I wasn't rubbing a raw Michael Jordan rookie card on my pussy. It had a plastic case on it. It but, went up in value. After but you even if I on. move Brett's card... An inch, he goes, ah, ah, and then you came over and did that? And he let me do it? Yeah. <laughs> Brett, do you love me? Yes, I do. <gasps> wow, I didn't know that. I mean, I knew you love me, but I didn't know that you won't let her play with your Michael Jordan rookie card, but you'll let me rub it on my pussy. I'll let her play with it. I, w- I go walking towards the Michael Jordan <laughs> rookie, and he's like, oh, what are you doing? What? I want to make a necklace out of it, kind of. No, like, you can't do that. Like Jake Paul did, whatever, for Boxing match. He, he did, did that? Yeah. A Michael like Jordan a rookie? That no, was a Pokemon oh. card. Yeah. Oh. No, nah, just leave him to do that. Yeah, let him do that. That's his thing. You think of something else. Be original. Okay. <laughs> that is a good point. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Next question here, honeys. Right. Love you. Bye-bye. Oh. Brett, come on. I, <laughs> I want to eat my woman out after a few guys. Doctor. I want to eat my woman. Huh? Wait, is that it? That's it. Wow, motherfucker just called and said, I want to eat my woman out. After a few guys, I fucked her. Mmm. Yum. He likes that rank twat. 
He likes that sit and come. Oh. He Ooh. like he likes that leftover cum. He likes that creamy pussy. Ooh. Uh, what does cum make y'all's pussy a smell like? Oh, I've said mayonnaise a lot. My, mine is very sour, vinegary. Yeah. Yeah. Like mayo. Yeah, because mayo is made with vinegar. It is? Yeah, we're on to something. Mayo- yeah, I got that mayonnaise pussy sometimes. You got that what? I just say mayonnaise because okay. I just. <laughs> okay. I, like I don't know how to say it. Yeah, mayonnaise. Mayonnaise? Yeah. <laughs> That's how you say it. Did uh, you just learn that? No, I just okay. say mayonnaise because everybody calls it something different. Yeah, I like that you said mayonnaise. I may start doing that too. Mayonnaise? Yeah. Mayonnaise. Okay, he wants to eat his woman's pussy after multiple men have fucked her. Um, Some people actually love that and are into it. Do you want to, I mean, you know, wish he got more into detail. Is there cum involved? No cum? Is it the cum that you want and like? Is it the sweatiness of the pussy? I have so many questions. He should make cumsicles if he likes the taste. Like, store cum and freeze it. I'm going to fucking puke. Ooh. <laughs> Imagine you put the wood stick and you have a cumsicle. Imagine coming and then trying to get it in the slots or pouring it in there. Imagine someone, people have done worse. People have done freakier shit. People come in cups, don't you think? Oh, they have to. No doubt. Weirder shit's been done is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Store it up. Yeah. Is it quiet in here? I feel like it's quiet, but my headphones, I can hear Yeah, we a hear, rattle. Yeah. Y'all don't hear that? Uh-uh. Mm-hmm. I feel like it's so quiet in here. I know. I do, too. Let's be quiet for a second. Listen. Everybody just be quiet and listen. Yeah. It's yep. quiet in here. What makes it different than any other day? I was already yeah. thinking that, though, Chelsea. Before That's you said crazy. that, I was thinking, damn, it feels really quiet mm-hmm. in here. Maybe our uh, earmuffs are really muffled. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Mm. I don't know. Anyway, we are ready for the next question. Brett Boone, thank you so much. Enjoy that come. Hey, honeys. Smoothies here. That's right. I've been trying to drink a lot of smoothies that are filled with fruits and vegetables because I feel like it really helps my skin glow and it gets rid of breakouts. That's right. I've been drinking a lot of smoothies, too, from Daily Harvest. Daily Harvest delivers straight to your door. Flatbreads, smoothies, Harvest bowls and more. That's right. The strawberry and peach smoothie is my favorite. Mm. I love the sweet potato bowls. Brett and I actually fight over who gets the last one. And Daily Harvest is great for the planet, you guys. They use recyclable and compostable packaging. Daily Harvest makes it easy for me to feel good about what I'm doing for my body and the planet. Go to dailyharvest.com slash viral and get up to $40 off your first box. That's right. Go to dailyharvest.com slash viral to get up to $40 off your first box. That's dailyharvest.com slash viral. Viral. And you know we like to keep our box clean. So get a clean box delivered right to your door. Hi, Chelsea and Paige. Wisconsin Cheese Curd fan here. Um, Chelsea, I loved hearing you talk about how you really enjoyed the cheese curds when you visited Wisconsin. Mm. Hope you can come back and visit us again soon. And Paige, bring Paige this time so she can taste them. Yes. Anyways, I am calling because... Um, I was wondering what it was like for both of you for your uh, your first time having sex. Um, my husband and I have been married for 17 years, and we were each other's first. I mean, I was his first, and technically he was my first. Um, I kind of had a two-part question. One, I wanted to know what your first times were like. But second, I wanted you guys to let me know if you think that my first time counted. Um, I don't think so, and neither do my friends, because the first time, like, he was super small, like, my pinky size, and even though, like, I was a virgin, I was still, like, I was kind of, like, a, um, a tease, so I, I did other stuff, Finger um, but I just didn't sleep with people, yeah. but anyways, so the first time I did it, I didn't feel anything, mm. and he, like, was really quick, and he goes, how was that, and I said, I'm sorry, but I felt tampons more than that. So one, I was told that wasn't cool to say. <laughs> and two, um, he tried again, and again, I didn't feel anything. Um, but so when I was finally with my, my husband, um, I felt that because he's big. Um, and so he popped my cherry. So what do you guys think? Do you think that my first time actually counted? Or do you think my husband and I were each other's first? Thanks, girls. Love ya. Love you, honeys. Love you. I love that she's letting us decide if her virginity counted or not. 
That's pretty serious, especially in a relationship, dude. Yeah. yeah. That could really. Okay. Okay. Let's start with her question. Do you, do we think her virginity counted? First time she had sex, the guy was so small, she couldn't feel it. They had sex twice. Then she had sex with her husband. She felt it. Maybe she should give him a third chance, you know? <laughs> 17 years later, see if anything changed. Third time's a charm. I think it counted. I yeah, think you had sex. If it can get you pregnant, it counted. Yes. Oh, I like that. I think it counted. Maggie? I was going to say she married the guy that she that popped her cherry. Let's just say he's her first. Because she can decide whatever she wants. Yeah, but she's get, leaving that up to us. I would say her husband's is her first. Wow. But if that were the case, I'm still a virgin. Because I don't think my cherry's ever been popped. I've never, ble- I've never had a cher- pop cherry. I've never bled. Fuck yeah, dude. We're virgins. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> no, but you guys play sports. Right. We played sports, so. So we didn't have periods, Brett said. Yeah. Or, I mean, cherries yeah. popped. Dude. I've never had. I think you said that or something. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I've never had that happen. My cherry popped right after. Just well, tell us everywhere. about that. Yeah. I, it, it scared me. And, uh. What? I, I'll t- I don't want to say names or nothing, but. Just say the first My friend's name. older sister was there. And, and I. During your virginity loss? Um. Well, no. I, I went over to their house. Okay, okay. And I was like, like, oh, my God, I'm bleeding. And she goes, yeah, your cherry was popped. And I was like, oh, what? God, I want to I wanna know who you're talking about. It's driving me nuts. <laughs> oh it's oh driving me nuts. No, that never happened to me, ever. It freaked me out. It was just a little bit, but it was like a period, Mm-mm. you know? No, yeah. I've never had that happen. Yeah, and for the first time I had sex, I guess my thoughts were just like, is that it? That was my thought. Without giving too much away, I will say we were uh, in the shower. You know, I was jacking him off. We were doing the whole shower thing, uh, you know. And then he wanted me to bend over and fuck right there. And I was like, uh, no, I'm not losing my virginity to shower. I want to go to a, on a bed. And doggy? Losing yeah. your virginity <laughs> doggy, dude? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. I told him I want to have sex regular. So we went and had sex. And I literally afterwards, I was like, that's it? Mm. Uh, no, I, not okay. Not that I felt that's it. I go, thought it would feel different. Yeah, it was a different v- vibrato. 100%. Sure. Did he know? 100%. Know what? That it was your uh, first? Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, was he a virgin? No. And he's trying to bend you over like that? I know. I was like, yeah. But looking back now, I'm like, man, I should have just bent over in the shower. I'm, an, no. I'm a whore at heart. What am I doing? You're, what was I doing? Nah, your pussy lips would have. Chafed. Yeah, yeah, but um, so we're mixed here. I think her, I think her virginity counted whenever she whenever she got a hold of a uh, viney sausage dick, and Maggie thinks her husband. I think we need to like do some digging and see first. Ha- does this uh, pencil or pinky dick guy have kids or not? Because oh. if he doesn't have kids and and she couldn't get pregnant, then maybe it didn't count. Here's I'd- the thing: if your dick is smaller than a goddamn tampon, it doesn't count. Oh, God, I think it, it doesn't does. count. It does. <laughs> it, oh. Maggie, <laughs> it does. I don't think there's, I think it's very, I think it's very fucking rare that a man's dick is smaller than a tampon. And a tampon, tampon is that big. Dude, yeah. I use those she fucking She said she jumbos. felt the tampons more than his dick, though. God. I don't know. This is a. Yeah. I say it doesn't count. Okay. Okay. But Maggie is very abrasive, generally speaking. I'm a little more warm at heart. <laughs> yeah. You guys know. Yeah. The podcast yeah. listeners know. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Brett, what do you think? That was one of the hardest Hope, questions let, we've ever had. Let's let Brett uh, tie, uh, do the tie. I thought you'd never ask, actually. Okay. Um. <laughs> That's sad. <laughs> he's offering you pickle juice. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I think anytime there's semen involved, it's... Uh, Okay. Counts. A transfer, you know. Okay. A transfer. But you could sit on a seat and there could be leftover semen. Because sometimes I look at my chair I sit at all day with no underwear. It's got to be fresh semen. semen. stains. Yeah. It, it's I fucking be fresh. hate you. It's got to be fresh <laughs> semen. I agree with you, Brett. Fresh, hot, nut. I agree with you. Fresh, <laughs> hot, nut. And thank you for asking again. Yeah, I, you're gu- I guess y'all are right. I they guess, f- they I guess. fucked. I guess, yeah. How many times have you fucked where it's the sex is fucking absolutely horrible? It's still you still fucked. It still counts. It doesn't have to be amazing to count. Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, that is true. You, you know? just remember the ones that are really right. good. Right, right. What? <laughs> yeah. Great question. Great, Love you. great question. Love you. Thank you for calling in. Hey, honey's next question here. Do, do. Hi, honey. God, Brett. Gay ass bitch here. <laughs> I was pounding out this guy yesterday. After I netted, I pulled out the condom and it had some boo boo on it. These straight married daddies apparently don't know how to douche. PSA to douche if you're going to bottom. Anyways, I was walking to the bathroom afterwards. I accidentally dropped the old nasty cookies and cream condom on the floor, and then my dog tried to eat it. Oh. I immediately thought of y'all. So my question is, what is the grossest thing your dog has ever ate or tried to eat? <laughs> Love you, honey. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hold on. Hold on. This motherfucker. I love... I love our fucking listeners because he could have called in and said, what's the strangest thing your dogs ever tried to eat? Instead, he's got to tell us about cookies and cream condoms. And how he uh, fucked a straight, a straight married, married guy. guy that doesn't know how to do. <laughs> oh my God. First off, that's very common. I just yes. want to say, yes, because I have a gay friend um, who has told me, He's like, dude, I fuck straight married men all the time. I don't think that makes them straight married men. They're what do you mean? They're gay married men. Well, or dudes who are just either curious or bi Asexual. or whatever. But that's that's so common. Like that happens. Yeah. You know what I mean? That happens mm-hmm. very commonly. Um, what's the strangest thing? Our dogs don't really eat anything strange. The the nastiest thing is Tilly and Greg's balls. What? Uh-oh. She doesn't eat it, but he. Uh oh. Uh oh. E i e i. Uh oh. Greg will scratch his nuts. Oh. <laughs> I know you. He fucking yours. does this shit all the time on purpose, and I fucking hate it. And we all yell at and him. Let and let Tilly lick his fingers. On the couch for hours, he'll be doing that. And I fucking, it's disgusting. <laughs> and Tilly loves it. Oh, I am never touching I know, she's Tilly's nasty. face again. I forgot about that, Maggie. Oh, as soon as he said that, I was like, Tilly's licking Greg's ball sack. I do, um, uh, oh. not too long ago, uh, we caught, um, uh, fucking God. <laughs> you're good. <laughs> uh, I got secondhand hot. I think we're stoned is what is what's going on in this podcast because you got super stoned before y'all were doing bong rips and I think I got a little a little bit of that. Oh, the second hand. Okay. We got second hand stoned in here. We're like, it's quiet. <laughs> <laughs> I hear white noise. <laughs> um, Gary, I guess Tilly had a little bit of shit hanging off her ass and Gary was eating it. Yeah. Dude, I'm not letting them lick my face anymore. <laughs> They're fucking nasty, man. Yeah. Oh, man. That's a lot of bacteria. Yeah. But you know what? Before I do anal, I don't douche. Yeah. I just make sure I take a shit. Mm-hmm. I don't douche either because I just don't. I just risk it. I never knew that's what you're supposed to do. I, I didn't know that. I thought it was kind of made. I thought douching was made up. Yeah. Have you ever douched your vagina? No. When I'm in the bath, I kind of flop up some water. Yeah. Well, that's why I love that she's a vegetarian. Stop. Know? Brett. Huh? You don't huh? have to douche what? your butthole. It just kind of no. all comes out in a big turd. I ha- Maggie, so. have you ever douched? Um, which, the ass or pussy? Both. But either. I I have. The douche didn't do anything for me. Butthole-wise? Butthole. Nothing came out. Wow. I think my whole. I was too so tight. constipated one time, oh. and I was trying everything. You have you have problem shitting anyway. And it no, nothing came out. I've Damn. douched my pussy before. Back in high school, I had a friend whose mom had a bunch of douches underneath her sink, and I was like, "What oh, does it look like?" It looks like it's weird. It looks like a um, it's just a. a it's like a long piece of plastic that's like thin, and the the head of it has like holes. And then you you literally stick it up your pussy and then squirt this water and the water just goes out the holes and cleans your pussy hole your canal. So one of those turkey basters. Literally, yes. A mini turkey baster. Yeah, and it's not good for you. I think I've seen those laying around. And you know she knows that you did that. <laughs> yeah. She probably seen the wrapper. Yeah. 
And like it, they were real big, like in the seventies and eighties, even like the nineties. Mm-hmm. Like, and then it came out like douching's like horrible for you. It pushes bacteria up. It's not good for you. But I have tried it, and it didn't do anything. Because I hear your vagina is just supposed to naturally clean itself. Yeah, that's so. what that's what all the cream is on your <laughs> underwears. Yeah, it just came out. Discharge. Yeah, yeah, it's the discharge cleaning your pussy. The toxins and stuff. Yeah, and, wild, huh? Yeah, and what else is wild is like these straight married men fucking these guys like Mm -hmm. how how do they fit like how do they hide that from i don't know a hard one i feel like to just suppress you know i feel like it's super easy for them because they're like hey i'm gonna go bowling with so-and-so my buddy or i'm gonna have a guy's night well i get that like they have to come up with some excuse to go fuck the guy but like how just like holding that in dude Yeah. I, I would have to be like, hey, I fucked Jared. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or, you know. You went hey, to Jared. Hey, I fucked Jared's. I went to Jared's. <laughs> I didn't get you a ring or I just fucked him. <laughs> dude, that's fucking funny. Yeah, I did. Dude. But but my friends like that's that's who I that's who I fuck. That's all who I fuck. that's all who's on like grinder and all that stuff. That's all it's it's straight married men. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, husband, you lost. Uh, anyway, honeys, you lost your virginity to the uh, to uh, first guy. Would you be more willing? Sorry, I don't know why this popped. Different in my call. <laughs> oh, we're on a different call. The dog. Oh yeah. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ, are y'all hot? Do I think I am? <laughs> Brett, tell them to do better. Yeah. Hashtag do better. I think I'm, dude. We're out of it today. I'm stoned. Something's wrong with you. Yeah, I'm stoned. I think. Do you have your iced coffee? Yeah, I have sweet tea. I oh, think that's it. That's why you I haven't think, had your iced coffee today. I haven't. I haven't. <laughs> Mm-mm, I think that's the problem. Yep. <laughs> you okay, honeys? When you do that shit, that gets me. Oh yeah, that got me. All okay. Right. Next, next question. question. <laughs> We're, we need a redo. Hey, honeys, Kaylee here. Hey, I want to tell you guys about current. The future of banking. Spend, save, and manage your money better with the current app and debit card. Overdraft up to $200 without any overdraft fees. Earn points on every swipe. Redeemable for cash back rewards. Current members are now able to earn 4% annual percentages yield APY on savings. That's 60 times the national savings rate average. I love using Current when I'm out on the road traveling and doing stand-up because there's so many ATMs all over the country that have no ATM fees. It just makes it easy. Remember, we've partnered with Current to give away $1,000. That's right. Current is going to give away $250 to four listeners of the Viral Podcast. All you have to do is download the current app at current.com slash viral for a chance to win. Remember, that's current.com slash viral. Winners will be awarded April 1st, so don't wait. Do it now. No purchase is necessary to win. Purchase won't increase chances of winning. Void where prohibited. Eligibility restrictions reply. Visit current.com slash viral for full terms and conditions. Current is a financial technology company, not a bank. Banking services provided by and Visa debit card issued by Choice Financial Group, member FDIC. The current annual percentage yield is variable and may change at any time. Terms and conditions apply. I have a little bit of a story, a little bit of a question. So I just kind of wanted to know about y'all's sex first, I guess. I wouldn't say losing your virginity necessarily, but first, adventurous sexual experience. So my story, I was 16, had a pretty steady boyfriend. We had decided that we were going to have sex uh, beforehand and ended up having a little teenager party type thing. Um, I was very lucky when I arrived to the party that the video camera that was being used died shortly after my arrival because after... I drank, I don't know, maybe five or six mixed drinks of UV Blue and Sunny D. My boyfriend and I decided to perform sexual acts in front of all of our friends. They all pulled up a circle, or a semi-circle, I should say, of lawn chairs and 
had a nice little viewing party. Um, at one point, I pushed my boyfriend off of me, rolled over onto all fours, kicked my leg up like a dog, and took a piss. Uh, after that, my best friend, also my boyfriend's best friend, ripped the condom off. No, sorry. I ripped the condom off. Boyfriend's best friend put the condom back on. Hi. Hello. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what? Is that it? I'm fucking dead. Uh, hold on. I'm fuck. The fact that two people asked us about our virginities is, it got me tripping. Okay. I thought we were at, answering the question again. I I oh no. I know. And then hold on. And then I love that she's telling this wild ass fucking story, and then somebody walks up, and she's just like, oh, "Hello," and probably hung yeah, up and hung up. That's what's funny. <laughs> yeah. She's hiding in her closet or something. Let me get this straight. She's sixteen. People pull up lawn chairs to watch her perform sexual acts. They're be uh, ahead of their time. She ends up lifting up her leg and pissing. Wow. I this want- was before cell phones, apparently, because she said the camcorder yeah. died. I and want, she's lucky. I wanted to hear the rest of the story because I have a feeling that that party was just getting started. Damn it. Dude, imagine if we did that stuff without, like, filming it. <sighs> well, what's the point, then? What's the point? We got to film it. Memories. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we could talk about it on the podcast. That's true. That's true. Nobody right. would believe us. No. Yeah, so. You got to have proof. <laughs> so on Saturday. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Dude, that's fucking hilarious, though. And I love how she just it ended it. Wow. Thanks for calling in, honeys, and telling us your crazy-ass fucking story. Beautiful story. Beautiful. Brett, do better. God. Hey, honeys. Pervert here. <laughs> I'm just curious how much money it would take or it would cost. No. I'm wondering how much money Chelsea would fuck Brett for. That's $5,000. <laughs> Love you, honey. Bye. Yeah, Maybe. How much money I would fuck Brett for? <laughs> it depends. It depends on the situation. Like right now, as everything is in our lives, <laughs> just right now. Like yeah. I, how much money it would take? Like at this very moment. Yeah. Oh. Um. Who's paying? You need to get the weed. Going. That's what I'm thinking. Who's paying? You selling that Michael Jordan rookie card? I'll just take the Michael Jordan. Because that's that's probably what it's going to cost. Just do a f- even trade on it. Michael Jordan rookie card. <laughs> Dude, what's How the gift that's it worth? Uh, well, it's an eight and a half. My mom bought it in uh, 1986 for like Whoa. 50 bucks. <gasps> it's worth, the highest it's ever sold for is like 50 grand. Wow. Yeah. I thought it'd be worth job, more. Mom. Honestly, I thought it'd be worth more. I may take cash. Give it a couple years, dude. Yeah. That Plus thing the, will be 100 million. I mean, you rubbed your uh, pussy on it, so it's probably worth a mil. Went Maybe. up in value already. <sighs> Thank y'all. That's really nice. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Yeah, I would say an e- an even trade for a Michael Jordan rookie card okay. is what it would take for That's me to fuck Brad. Yeah. Yep. All right. All right. Next pod. Yep. Next question. You said next pod. <laughs> hey, <laughs> honey, it's eating spaghetti here. I'm just calling in because I'm listening to the pod this week, and you're talking about funniest slash hottest things that people have said to you during sex. Mm-hmm. This is neither, but. During sex, I had someone say, you know, you're not that flexible. And I said, you know, fuck you. Okay, that's all. Bye, honey. (laughs) Oh, yeah. Bye, honeys. Oh, yeah. Good job, honeys. So she was having sex, and they said, you know, you're not that flexible. Has anyone ever said anything rude to you during sex? That's Hmm. a good little segue. No, I don't think so. Uh Uh-uh. No. Probably after, naturally, when I wasn't there, but. (laughs) Stop. Uh. I'm trying to think. Anything rude or awkward during sex? Hmm. Mm. Um, I don't know. I don't think so either. Dudes just want a nut. They yeah. don't care unless the woman's not flexible, apparently. Dude, sometimes it's hard to be flexible. Yeah. We're not in PE class anymore stretching. Thank you. He should be happy he just got some. Exactly. You're not yeah. that flexible. And why, I mean, you just are there with, like, your legs spread or just bend her over. There's so many positions. What the fuck did he want her to do? (laughs) I know, a fucking twisted scorpion with a... Did he want to do those those high rope motherfucking swinging from the... I mean, calm down, dude. 
Oh. Maybe his ex was a gymnast or something. <laughs> Gotta be. <laughs> you know? Gotta be. Dude, men are... <sighs> yeah. Saying that? Yeah. Unreal. Exactly. I'd be like, your dick fucking sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Your dick's not flexible. You honestly, you would say something like that. If somebody said that, you'd be like, yeah. All right. Well, watch me walk my ass out of here. <laughs> God. Brett, what about you? Anything rude ever said to you during sex or anything like that made you feel? Uh, I mean, no, I don't. I mean, if there was something, I'd still, you know, just finish. I think. Yeah. Oh, I, that's what I'm saying. Well, yeah, yeah. That, you nut right through it. Yeah. I probably wouldn't even hear it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. Narcissist. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, just kidding. I got the traits. Oh my god, my stomach just growled. I'm so hungry. Yeah, when she said eating spaghetti, I oh. Oh, cheesecake. W- are we going? Let's go to Cheesecake Factory after this. Okay. Dead ass serious. There, I hope there's not a line. <sighs> they need a couple more cheesecakes in San Diego. I know. They're they're rare. There's like what three in all of San Diego? Not enough. Not they're, enough. They're rare. I didn't know that. I think there's only like... Dang. I, there's not a lot. Like, you know, there's one here, there's one down in uh, Fashion Valley, and then... I can't think... There's, there's another one. Over in... Yep. Just like three, I think. I may be wrong. Let me look that up, actually. Let me uh, look that up. Um, there's all types of just, music. Uh, there's country I was about to say, pop, keep going. But good old gospel music has got more than me. It is the sweetest. Okay, there's one, two, three, four. There's four. God, you know what sounds good? What? Uh, Red Lobster. Biscuits. I bought the biscuit. It's not the same. It's not the same. It's not. It's not. I've never had the. uh, They're good, but like, dude, when maybe just because you have to make them, you don't enjoy them as much. Right. One hundred percent. But four cheesecakes with like five million people here. That's just not doing it. That's not enough. That's why there's always a line. God, ridiculous. <laughs> Do better. Love Do better. Honeys. Love you, honeys. Thank you for calling in. I forgot to tell you that this is the uh, this is the last question. <gasps> yeah, I did it again. Really? Yeah. Dude, we just got started. How long is this pod? Like 40 minutes? One fi- one. That's about an hour. Whoa. I feel like we just got started. Hey, honey, short podcast here. Sorry about that. Damn. Yeah. And I feel like we did a lot of talking. Really? I don't know. I feel like we just fucking got started. I feel like we're 20 minutes in. Because we've been dude, doing those two hours. Dude, I got stoned. <laughs> There's no way I didn't get stoned. I'm still confused on when Maggie said we're not in my question. I keep rethinking that. That was like five minutes ago. Because he was talking about the dog was the nastiest thing the dog was eating. And Chelsea said... <laughs> It I does know. count, honey, or something. About I don't the know. Virginity? And I was like, what? We already closed that one out. Holy Dude. Shit. <laughs> that, hey, honey, is that some strong weed here? I don't know if the weed got you like that. Or if this is just how I am. Uh, Probably a little bit of both. Yeah. Honestly. Honestly. Sleep deprivation. Yeah. I also haven't nutted in several days, and that's probably it. Yeah, what? and the climate. I just haven't. Well, you met it a couple days ago. Yesterday, well, you said the door go was master. closed and locked. What, what? And it's only closed and locked when you're in there nutting. And you know what? And I'll sit there and I'll go, "What you doing in there?" Yeah. Does that piss you off? <laughs> well, yeah. Right here's, in the middle when she's nutting. <laughs> here's what. Here's what happens. Okay, dude. I'm telling you, eighty percent of the time when I'm masturbating, I will go and close the door and I will lock it. Eighty percent of the time, as I'm as I'm rubbing one out. Maggie tries to fucking come in. She'll come in. She'll she'll try to open the door, and I'll, I'll hear it being, and then she'll figure out it's locked, and she'll go, she'll go, God, and turn around and walk away. <laughs> and then it's ruined. And then a few weeks ago, I was literally, I was literally mid-orgasm. Okay? Ooh. At the peak of that fucker. I was mid-orgasm, and this fucking cunt walks up, tries to come in, and she goes, in her barber voice, Oh, Lord, bye, oh. bro. So that's what I'm hearing as I'm coming. And it would have been better if she would have got you at the peak of the orgasm, but you, she got you right in the middle of it. Uh-huh. You can't redo that. Mm-mm. You can't enjoy it either. No. no, no. So it's like, I swear to God, Maggie never come. Maggie never gets off her fucking bed. So I, I swear to God, I feel like some sort of sixth sense 
She knows that I'm masturbating and she tries to come ruin it every fucking time I'm masturbating. Here's when you masturbate in the fucking morning and I'll see you. You'll like text me or I'll see you uh, a notification or something from you. And I'm like, oh, Chelsea's up. Let me go talk to her about this. And then the door's locked. <laughs> so Damn. most most of the time I will literally text her or go like, hey, I'm about to go rub one out. Don't fucking come in there and bother me. And I don't when you text me. You don't. But if I don't text you. You're there. So did you just barely get a lock? Or why was I always on door duty? Like, watching the door. Because I don't like to masturbate when Greg's home. Oh, in, yeah. In general. But he... So, if, for people that don't know what we're talking about, door duty. So, one time Greg was home, and I really, really, really needed to bust a nut. And I better know what you're thinking. Oh, well, why didn't you just have sex with Greg? Because I said I wanted to bust a nut. <laughs> Hold on. Mic drop. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, honey's professional stand-up comedian here. Holy uh-huh. shit. Because I said I wanted to fucking bust a nut. That's why. Okay? Hey, honey. And you wanted it quick. Yeah. So, Greg was on the couch, and Paige was home, and I was like, hey, come here. And I was like, hey, can you, like, stand in the hallway, and if Greg gets up off the couch, come and... You know, like, he's not going to know what the hell's going on. No, you said, hurry up and text me. Yeah. Um, I think we've told this story on here before. Have, I don't know. But you're like, hurry up and text me. He's coming or something. So, like, I had that just typed out and ready. And, like, when my phone would fucking go unlock, I'd hurry up and unlock it oh to make my sure. God. I don't want to be the one. Yeah. Well, that's, only, that's only happened once, though. I don't like to masturbate when he's home. Because you just know that he's here. And I also don't want him fucking coming in and being like, oh, what you do? This is me time. You, don't fucking bother me. What you doing? <laughs> yeah. Would you tell him you're masturbating? Yeah. Wholeheartedly. And then what would he do? Nothing. And then he would leave and then you just go at it? Oh, well, he's never caught me. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, you're sneaky. Yeah, yeah. She's and fast. I'm, and I'm quick. She's that's, so fast. That's the thing. I finished and remember, Paige, you were like, you're already done? I was like. It don't take long. Yeah, because you made me, uh, when we went to Nashville, we stayed in a hotel, and she made me sit in the bathroom while she, well, she always <laughs> makes me just sit in the bathroom while she nuts. Yeah. I need a whole fucking TikTok of me sitting in different bathrooms while you nut. I'm quick with it. If yeah. I have to come, I'm coming. Just letting y'all know. How long, I'm, I'm quick. Hey, when is this peak you guys were talking about of huh? your orgasm? Uh-huh. Well, when when is the peak of just, the uh, female? Well, I would say the peak is right when you're about to just yeah. unleash. Mm. Uh-huh. Unleash. Mm. Yeah. Unleash the cream. The toxins and your the cream. Eruption. <laughs> Wait. Listen to what Maggie just said. Don't ever say that again. Unleash the cream. God. Mm. Open the, the gates to the cream. The faucet. Corn. Stop the cream. it. God. Um, yeah, listen. It's mm. no secret I masturbate a lot. It's no secret. Yeah, you say it every podcast. <laughs> I say it every fucking podcast. I love how we're like, this podcast isn't very long. Okay, let's fucking make it long by <laughs> talking about everything. Under, like, so. <laughs> roast anybody here. <laughs> Some guy did say, you guys are spoiling us with two hour podcasts. Aww. You don't have to have them this long. I was like, all right, we'll make them shorter. We don't. <laughs> We don't yeah, ever set, we don't ever set out to do a two hour or one. Like we just fucking go with the flow. We pick however many, you know, we just, we try to keep it between what, eight and 12 questions, depending on, sometimes we'll riff off them for a long time. Sometimes not. It just depends. You guys, mm-hmm. sometimes our jaws are just John. And also sometimes you feel like a nut. Sometimes you don't. Yes. You know what because, that is Paige? Oh. A nut. You don't know what that jingle is? What is it? She's too young, honeys. Yeah. Sometimes you feel like a nut. Sometimes you don't. Nobody? I know. Almond commercial? Joy's that got nuts. Like yeah. Almond dude. Joy commercials. Back Mounds with... don't. Yes. Uh-huh. Sometimes you feel like a nut. I thought you were going to say like this is like Hall and Oates or something. Oh, we've it's been on a freaking commercial for yeah. an Almond yeah. Joy. We've been on a Hall and Oates kick. I want to go. Brett said that they're going to be back in concert. I want to go. I thought I heard they were uh, getting back together. Um, oh. See, I don't know. Yeah. I, that would be a good show. Could you imagine us? At a Hall and Oates concert? I can't go for that. No. I would go with y'all. Let's no do it do. if they go back on tour. I don't know if they are. Brett could have made that up. Probably. Yeah. Sometimes well, he does that. Oh, I know. He'll just think of things <laughs> in his head and be like, that's yeah. true. And I'm like, is that true? And he's like, oh, I don't know. I just made it up. 
I'm like, huh? I heard it from a friend from a friend. And Brett doesn't have friends. I know. All they all stopped talking to him. Brett, we're your only friends. Is that true? Uh, no, I mean, I feel like I have uh, lots of friends, but, uh, you know, yeah. Yeah, they all have kids and shit. <laughs> yeah. We're the only ones that you hang out with. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I mean, I've got friends, too, but y'all are all who hang out with. <laughs> I know. Isn't that weird? Yeah. I hang out with some of my other friends, but definitely. And that's weird when that happens. Yeah, you don't like it. It's not that I don't like it. I'm just like, what are you doing? <laughs> and you'll be in fucking Florida saying, who's that? <laughs> Like, you're going to come join on a brunch date. <laughs> oh, my God, honey, y'all. My tour is on sale. Get your tickets at eatmytrash.com. Um, what else? Next question. Should we play it? We don't have one, honey. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah we, we do, one. Chelsea. Yeah, we got oh! yeah. Chelsea, he said that, honey. You're trying to end it soon. Chelsea's pulling a Brett Boone today, dude. She is, man. What's y'all, going on with hey, you? Hey, contact high. Here's what's going on. I'm not on track. <laughs> you're not on track today. I'm not. Right now. Do you need to go bust a nut? Honestly. Before we go to dinner? Rub honestly, one out right here, right now. Yes. Go underneath the table and rub one out. I won't be able to. No? And I need my Satisfier Pro. Uh, We could run up and grab it. I wouldn't be able to come in front of y'all. I, don't, I wouldn't want you to, though. And I, have to. and I have to come laying down. I can't be sitting up. It's a weird thing I do. We need you one of those chairs that lean back. <laughs> lean, lean with it. <laughs> lean with it. <laughs> All right, I'm ready for the last question. Let's do this. Hey, honeys, we're going viral. Hey, honeys. When it comes to personal hygiene, who has time to read those long list of ingredients on the back of the bottle? I know I don't. Some ingredients I can't even pronounce. If you're anything like me and care what goes on your body then it's time to try Native. Best known for their aluminum-free deodorant, Native wants to help you practice safe sweats, which is why they keep their ingredients list bare naked. Ingredients you should understand, like coconut oil, baking soda, shea butter. Native deodorant checks a lot of boxes. Like 24-hour odor protection. Naturally derived ingredients. A smooth, residue-free application. And over 10 scents to choose from. Like coconut and vanilla, lavender and rose, cucumber and mint, or even unscented. I always get asked what perfume I'm wearing every time I wear the uh, cucumber one. People love it. It smells so good and fresh. Smell and feel fresh all day long with Native. Get 20% off your first order by going to nativedo.com slash viral or use promo code viral at checkout. That's nativedo.com slash viral or use promo code viral at checkout for 20% off your first order. Just got out of a 10 hour shift pussy here. And I'm really tired. I wish I could just go home and spark one up. But, you know, I got to be responsible and cook. But anyway, uh, my question for you guys is, what would be your guys' perfect rotation? Or who would you guys love to get high with? Um, For me, I would love to get high with all of you guys. You guys seem like such a good time. Um, But, yeah, love all you honeys. Bye. Honeys, love you. You're getting high with us right now. Technically, this is what it would be like. (laughs) Bunch of fucking idiots. No, you know what it would be like if I would have actually taken the bong rip? (gasps) 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 Call 911. That's what it would be like. This is second hand for me. Um, What would be my dream rotation? I've always said this. Paige, you've always said it too. Your dream what? Rotation. What do you think I said? What does that mean? Puff, puff, give. Your dream weed rotation. Oh, okay. Your dream, like, joint passings. I like that. Yeah. A little rotation. That's cute. Mine would be, obviously, Snoop Dogg. Mm-hmm. We've I, said that. Yeah, definitely some Snoop. And here's and here's the thing. We know somebody that mm-hmm. knows Snoop. Yeah, so I'm going to count him as, like, we are going to smoke weed with him, but, dude, Seth Rogen would be a fun time. <sighs> Mine would be the the people who are famous for getting high. Seth Rogen, Snoop Dogg, Willie Nelson. Whoa. How fucking cool would that be? Maybe wonder... Snoop could talk to West Side Connection for you too. Oh, you know I love West Side Connection. West Side. I well, wonder who has the best weed. Like, you know, out of honestly, Seth, Snoop. I think it's got to be Snoop. Yeah. I just, I got a feeling. 
Have you had uh, Seth Rogen? Well, no. No. Seth Rogen has his own strain. I know. House plant, and it's fucking cute. His containers and everything. Have you tried the weed? Yeah. Is it good? Yes. It's a huge, fat nugget. Oh. It was very big. It was cool looking. Wow. It was huge. Wow. Probably bigger than that guy's pinky dick. Stop. A nug is bigger. Stop it. (laughs) Mine would probably be that rotation right there. And, and... I honestly think there's a good chance in the near future of our lives that we get high with Snoop Dogg. And I'm being dead serious. What would we, I would probably be like, I'll be so fucking nervous. Oh. I'll be, I'll be so fucking scared. I hope it's not the weed that I smoked the other day. I thought I died. What happened? I thought I died. I just laid there and I'm like, Brett. And he, <gasps> and he came upstairs <laughs> And I was laying in bed. I was laying there so stiff. And I swear, I looked down at my leg and it was like freaking, I thought something was moving in it. And I'm like, Brett, I think I'm dying. And then I'm like, here, help me up. And like, I walked down the stairs with him and he was just like being normal. And I'm like, dude, I almost just died. That's bad. And then you smoke after that shit happens. That's That's what freaks me out. Yeah, that's what I've talked to her about before. She's like, she's like, I'll smoke weed and I'll. Yeah, she'll smoke weed and, and do shit like that and then continue to smoke weed. When that happens to me, I'm done for eight months. <laughs> me too. <laughs> well, because every experience isn't like that death one that I had. It doesn't matter. It just takes one for me and I'm done. I know. I haven't smoked in like two years. Mm. Well, I'll take that back, but I've smoked one time in two years. Brett, when yeah. when she when you went up there and she said, I think I'm dying, what was running through your head? He's like, no, no. I'm like, uh, so you want another bong rip or... <laughs> Yeah, and I was like, he's not taking me serious. He's not taking me serious. That is at a CBX. Y'all, that is the worst fucking feeling. That's why I can't smoke weed anymore on a regular basis. I've had a couple bad ones. When I was in Colorado, I thought I shit was shitting my pants, and I'm like, Brett, I'm pooping my pants. Brett, I'm shitting my pants, and he's like, just walk across the street. Huh? Yeah, that's how bad the like crazy the weed was. Oh my god. Yeah. That's the worst. The when you have a bad trip like that, it makes you. It makes me never want to fucking smoke again in the world. During it, I'm like, I'm never fucking smoking again ever. And then I'll right. wait like a year before I do it again. Yeah, I say that, and then I wait a couple hours. <laughs> See, I could never do that. See, if I think I'm, if I don't know, if I think I'm dying, that's different. But if I think somebody's gonna kill me, uh-huh. those are the ones that get me. Get you and that happens, for a year. that happens all the time. Oh, that's why we don't know. Uh-uh. You hey, honey, somebody's just going to come and kill you. Yes. Mm-hmm. That's how, yes. And yep. it's mainly like Chelsea and Beth. I think they're going to come kill me. I've only had that once and I thought Greg was going to come over to her house. And, <laughs> and like, I kept thinking if I looked in the hall, Greg would be there. So <laughs> what if he was? Stop. <laughs> that would be bad. Oh Dude. my God, you guys. So if we had a perfect rotation that led to a good high, it would be that. Snoop Dogg. Mm-hmm. We're going to get high with Snoop Dogg. Yes, we are. We're manifesting it. But why does weed, like... I don't know. What are they putting in it these days? I don't know. And why is sometimes why is sometime great, and then sometimes absolutely fucking hell? Why is that? You just got to smoke more. Nah. Huh. I no. do hear if you get too high, smoke CBD. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Smoke more, yeah. Last time I last time I smoked weed, I had CBD with me, CBD oil, just in case. Because they say if you smoke and you start like feeling bad, take CBD and it'll bring you down. And that's exactly what happened. I took a couple puffs of weed, felt fine. Ten minutes later, I I literally started to feel a panic attack coming on, and I said I'm about to start freaking the fuck like out. Like heart palpitation. Yes, and I started to get real scared. And then I took some CBD, and it slapped that shit right out. You Dang. D- the droplets in your mouth. Mm-hmm. But I did. But I wasn't high after that. It's not. Like, it's not like it took it down and then I continued a good high. My whole high was gone. So that's yeah. good to have. I mean, CBD is good to have around if you, you know, think but, you're dying. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Gosh, but it's so good. Yeah. When so. it's when it's good, it's good. <clears throat> All right, honey. As well. Thank you for calling in. And if you have a very tragic weed experience, oh, let yes. us know. Let us know. Give us a call. Call in at 442-777-3331. And always remember, you're doing great. You're looking good.
Yeah, and and fuck, fuck what it. everybody else thinks. Did you almost forget that? No. Oh, okay. Just give it a pause. I was like, damn, you're stone stoned. Love y'all. Cheesecake. Get ready. We're going viral.